Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. O heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us of all impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and God. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin, for I know mine iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth. The hidden and secret things of thy wisdom hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that be humbled, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hadst desired sacrifice, I had given it. With whole burnt offerings thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humbled. God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Sion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shalt thou be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from the heavens and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man, and was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried and arose again on the third day according to the Scriptures, and ascended into the heavens and sitteth at the right hand of the Father, and shall come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church I confess one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. In the deep of old, the infinite power overwhelmed Pharaoh's whole army, but the incarnate word annihilated pernicious sin. Exceedingly glorious is the Lord, for gloriously is he glorified. O sweetest Jesus, save us. Sweetest Jesus Christ, long-suffering Jesus, heal the wounds of my soul, Jesus, and make sweet my heart, O greatly merciful one, I pray thee. O Jesus, my Savior, that being saved by thee, I may magnify thee. O sweetest Jesus, save us. Sweetest Jesus Christ, open to me the door of repentance, O Jesus, lover of mankind, and accept me, O Jesus, my Savior, as I fall down before thee, and fervently implore the forgiveness of my sins. O sweetest Jesus, save us. O sweetest Jesus Christ, Jesus, snatch me from the hand of deceitful Belial, O Jesus, and make me stand at the right hand of thy glory, O Jesus, my Savior, delivering me from the lot of those on the left. O most holy Theotokos, save us. O Lady who gavest birth to Jesus our God, pray for us worthless servants, that by thy prayers, O Immaculate One, we who are defiled may be delivered from torment, O spotless one, and enjoy everlasting glory. O most holy Theotokos, save us. Distressed by many temptations, I flee to thee, seeking salvation, O Mother of the Word and Virgin. From ordeals and afflictions, deliver me. O most holy Theotokos, save us. Outbursts of passions trouble me and fill my soul with great despondency. Calm it, O maiden, by the peace of thy Son and God, O all blameless one. 
O most holy Theotokos, save us. I implore thee who gavest birth to the Saviour and God, O Virgin, to deliver me from perils. For fleeing now unto thee for refuge, I lift up both my soul and my reasoning. O most holy Theotokos, save us. Ailing am I in body and soul, do thou vouchsafe me the divine visitation and thy care. O thou who alone art the mother of God, for thou art good and the mother of the good. O Lord Jesus Christ, my God, have mercy on me. Vouchsafe me thy servant, O Saviour, worthily to sing a song and to praise the fleshless angel, my guide and guardian. Holy angel of the Lord, my guardian, pray to God for me. Alone I lie in folly and idleness, O my guide and guardian, forsake not me who am perishing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Direct my mind by thy prayer to fulfill the commands of God, that I may obtain of God forgiveness of sins, and teach me to hate all wickedness, I pray thee. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. With my guardian angel, O virgin, pray for me, thy servant, to the gracious one, and teach me to fulfill the commandments of thy Son and my Creator. By establishing me on the rock of faith, thou hast enlarged my mouth over mine enemies, and my spirit rejoiceth when I sing. There is none holy as our God, and none righteous beside thee, O Lord. O sweetest Jesus, save us. Hearken, O my Jesus, lover of mankind, unto thy servant calling with compunction. And deliver me, O Jesus, from condemnation and torment, O only long-suffering, sweetest Jesus, plenteous in mercy. O sweetest Jesus, save us. Receive thy servant, O my Jesus, who falleth down with tears, O my Jesus. And save me as one repentant, O my Jesus, delivering me from Gehenna, O Master, sweetest Jesus. Jesus, plenteous in mercy. O sweetest Jesus, save us. O my Jesus, the time thou gavest me I have squandered in passions. O my Jesus, reject me not, O my Jesus, but call me, I pray, O Master, sweetest Jesus, and save me. O most holy Theotokos, save us. O virgin who gavest birth to my Jesus, implore him to deliver me from Gehenna. Thou alone art the protectress of the afflicted, O thou who art full of divine grace, and vouchsafe me the life that ageth not, O all blameless one. O most holy Theotokos, save us. I have chosen thee to be the protection and intercession of my life, O Virgin Mother of God. Pilot me to thy haven, O author of blessings, O support of the faithful, O thou only all-lauded one. O most holy Theotokos, save us. I pray thee, O Virgin, to dispel the tumult of my soul and the storm of my grief. For thou, O Bride of God, hast given birth to Christ, the Prince of Peace, O only Immaculate One. O most holy Theotokos, save us, since thou broughtest forth him who is the benefactor and cause of good. From the wealth of thy loving kindness do thou pour forth on all, for thou canst do all things, since thou didst bear Christ, the one who is mighty in power. For blessed of God art thou, O most holy Theotokos, save us. I am tortured by grievous sicknesses and morbid passions, O virgin, do thou help me, for I know thee to be an inexhaustible treasury of unfailing healing, O all blameless one. Holy angel of the Lord, my guardian, pray to God for me. All my thoughts and my soul I have committed unto thee, O my guardian, do thou deliver me from all attacks of the enemy. Holy angel of the Lord, my guardian, pray to God for me. The enemy troubleth and trampleth on me, and teacheth me always to do his will, but do thou, O my guide, forsake not me who am perishing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Grant me to sing a song with thanksgiving and fervor unto my Creator and God, and to thee, my good angel guardian, O my deliverer, rescue me from foes that do me evil. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. Heal, O Immaculate One, the most painful wounds of my soul, and drive away the enemies that are a fight against me. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, O Jesus my Saviour, thou didst save the prodigal, Jesus my Saviour, thou didst accept the harlot. And now have mercy on me, O Jesus, plenteous in mercy, have compassion, and save me, O Jesus, my benefactor, as thou hadst compassion on Manasseh, my Jesus, only lover of mankind. Show compassion to me, O holy angel of the Lord, my guardian, and leave not me a defiled one, but illumine me with the light unapproachable, and make me worthy of the heavenly kingdom. Vouchsafe my soul, humiliated by many temptations, the ineffable glory, O holy intercessor and singer with the choirs of the fleshless hosts of God. Have mercy and guard me, and illumine my soul with good thoughts, that I may be enriched by thy glory, O my angel, and subdue the enemies that wish me evil, and make me worthy of the heavenly kingdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Out of the love of my soul I cry to thee, O guardian of my soul, mine all-holy angel. Protect and guard me always from the hunting of the evil one, and guide me to the heavenly life, teaching and enlightening and strengthening me. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. O protection of Christians that cannot be put to shame. O mediation unto the Creator unfailing, disdain not the suppliant voices of sinners, but be thou quick, O good one, to help us who in faith cry unto thee. Hasten to intercession, and speed thou to make supplication. O thou who dost ever protect, O Theotokos, them that honor thee. From a virgin didst thou come, not as an ambassador, nor as an angel, but the very Lord himself incarnate, and didst save me the whole man, wherefore I cry to thee, Glory to thy power, O Lord, O sweetest Jesus, save us. Heal, O my Jesus, the wounds of my soul, O my Jesus, I pray, and snatch me from the hand of soul-corrupting Belial, O my compassionate Jesus, and save me. 
O sweetest Jesus, save us. I have sinned, O my sweetest Jesus, O compassionate one, O my Jesus. Save me who flee to thy protection, O long-suffering Jesus, and vouchsafe me thy kingdom. O sweetest Jesus, save us. No one hath sinned, O my Jesus, as have I, the wretched one. But now I fall down praying, Save me, O my Jesus, and grant me life, O my Jesus. O most holy Theotokos, save us. O all him one who gavest birth to the Lord Jesus, implore him to deliver from torment all who hymn thee, and call thee truly the Theotokos. O most holy Theotokos, save us. The turmoil of my passions and the storm of my sins do thou be still, thou who gavest birth to the Lord and helmsman, O thou bride of God. O most holy Theotokos, save us. O bestow out of the abyss of thy compassion on me thy supplicant, for thou didst give birth to the kind-hearted one and saviour of all that hymn thee. O most holy Theotokos, save us. While delighting in thy gift, so spotless one, we sing a song of thanksgiving to thee, knowing thee to be the mother of God. O most holy Theotokos, save us. As I lie on the bed of my pain and infirmity, do thou help me, as thou art a lover of goodness, O Theotokos, who alone art ever virgin. O most holy Theotokos, save us, having thee as our staff and hope, and as our salvation's unshaken battlement. From all manner of adversity are we then redeemed, O thou all-lauded one. Holy angel of the Lord, my guardian, pray to God for me. Pray thou to God, the lover of mankind, and forsake me not, O my guardian, but ever keep my life in peace, and grant me the invincible salvation. Holy angel of the Lord, my guardian, pray to God for me. As the defender and guardian of my life, I received thee from God, O angel. I pray thee, O holy one, free me from all danger. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Cleanse my defilement by thy holiness, O my guardian, and may I be drawn from the left side by thy prayers, and become a partaker of glory. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Perplexity confronteth me from the evil surrounding me, O most pure one, but deliver me from it speedily, for I flee only to thee. O thou who art the light of those lying in darkness, and the salvation of the despairing, O Christ my Saviour, I rise early to pray to thee, O King of Peace. Enlighten me with thy radiance, for I know none other God beside thee. O sweetest Jesus, save us. Thou art the light of my mind, O my Jesus. Thou art the salvation of my despairing soul, O Saviour. O my Jesus, do thou deliver me from torment and Gehenna as I cry. Save me, the wretched one, O Christ my Jesus. O sweetest Jesus, save us. Utterly cast down to shameful passions, O my Jesus, I now cry. Stretch down to me a helping hand, O my Jesus, and pluck me out as I cry. Save me, the wretched one, O Christ my Jesus. O sweetest Jesus, save us. Carrying about a mind defiled, I call to thee, O Jesus. Cleanse me from the dirt of sin, and redeem me who slipped down to the depths of evil through ignorance, and save me, O Saviour, my Jesus, I pray. O most holy Theotokos, save us. O maiden mother of God, who gavest birth to Jesus, implore him to save all orthodox monastics and laity, and to deliver from Gehenna those who cry, Beside thee we know no certain protection. O most holy Theotokos, save us. Fill my heart with gladness, O pure one, by giving me thine incorruptible joy. O thou who didst bear the cause of gladness, O most holy Theotokos, save us. Deliver us from dangers, O pure Theotokos, who didst give birth to eternal redemption, and the peace that doth pass all understanding. O most holy Theotokos, save us. Dispel the darkness of my sins, O bride of God, by the radiance of thy splendor, for thou didst bear the light divine and pre-eternal. O most holy Theotokos, save us, heal, O pure one, the infirmity of my soul, when thou hast deemed me worthy of thy visitation, and grant me health by thine intercessions. Holy angel of the Lord, my guardian, pray to God for me. As one having boldness toward God, O my holy guardian, do thou entreat him to deliver me from the evils that afflict me. Holy angel of the Lord, my guardian, pray to God for me. O radiant light, illumine my soul with radiance, O my guide and guardian, given me by God, O angel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Keep me vigilant who sleep from the evil burden of sin, O angel of God, and raise me up to glorify him through thy supplication, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Mary, Lady Theotokos, unwedded, O hope of the faithful, subdue the uprisings of the enemy, and gladden them that hymn thee. World about in the abyss of sin, I appeal to the unfathomable abyss of thy compassion. From corruption raise me up, O God. O sweetest Jesus, save us. O my Jesus Christ, plenteous in mercy. Accept me who confess my sins, O Master, and save me, O Jesus, and snatch me from corruption, O Jesus. O sweetest Jesus, save us. O my Jesus, no one else hath been so prodigal as I, the wretched one, O Jesus, lover of mankind. But do thou thyself save me, O Jesus. O sweetest Jesus, save us. O my Jesus, with my passions I have surpassed the harlot and the prodigal, Manasseh and the publican, O my Jesus, and the robber and the Ninevites, O Jesus. O most holy Theotokos, save us, O thou who didst give birth to my Jesus Christ. O only undefiled and immaculate virgin, cleanse me now, the defiled one, by the hyssop of thine intercessions. O most holy Theotokos, save us, my nature held by corruption and death hath he saved from out of death and corruption. For unto death he himself hath submitted, wherefore, O virgin, do thou intercede with him who is thy Lord and Son, to deliver me from enemies' wickedness. 
O most holy Theotokos, save us. I know thee as the protection of my life and the most safe fortification, O virgin. Disperse the horde of temptations and drive away demonic vexation. Unceasingly I pray to thee from corruption of passions, deliver me. O most holy Theotokos, save us. We have acquired thee as a wall of refuge and the perfect salvation of our souls and a relief in afflictions, O maiden, and we ever rejoice in thy light. O sovereign lady, do thou also now save us from passions and dangers. O most holy Theotokos, save us. Bedridden I lie supine with sickness now, and there is no healing for my flesh, but to thee, O good one who gavest birth to God and the Savior of the world and the healer of infirmities, I pray, from corruption of illness raise me up. Holy angel of the Lord, my guardian, pray to God for me. Free me from every temptation and save me from sorrow, I pray thee, O holy angel, given to me as my good guardian by God. Holy angel of the Lord, my guardian, pray to God for me. Enlighten my mind, O good one, and illumine me, I pray thee, O holy angel, and teach me to think always profitably. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Abolish present disturbance from my heart, and strengthen me to be vigilant and good, O my guardian, and guide me miraculously to quietness of life, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The word of God dwelt in thee, O Theotokos, and showed thee to men as the heavenly ladder, for by thee the Most High descended to us. To thee, the champion leader, we thy servants dedicate a feast of victory and of thanksgiving as ones rescued out of sufferings of Theotokos. But as thou art one with might which is invincible, from all dangers that can be, do thou deliver us, that we may cry to thee, Rejoice, thou bride unwedded. An archangel was sent from heaven to say to the Theotokos, Rejoice. And beholding thee, O Lord, taking bodily form, he was amazed, and with his bodiless voice he stood crying to her such things as these. Rejoice thou through whom joy will shine forth, rejoice thou through whom the curse will cease. Rejoice recall of fallen Adam, rejoice redemption of the tears of Eve. Rejoice height inaccessible to human thought, rejoice depth indiscernible even for the eyes of angels. Rejoice for thou art the king's throne, rejoice for thou bearest him who beareth all. Rejoice star that causest the sun to appear, rejoice womb of the divine incarnation. Rejoice thou through whom creation is renewed, rejoice thou through whom we worship the creator. Rejoice thou bride unwedded. Seeing herself to be chaste, the Holy One said boldly to Gabriel, The marvel of thy speech is difficult for my soul to accept. How canst thou speak of a birth from a seedless conception? And she cried, Alleluia. Seeking to know knowledge that cannot be known, the Virgin cried to the ministering one, Tell me how can a son be born from a chaste womb? Then he spake to her in fear, only crying aloud thus, Rejoice, initiate of God's ineffable will. Rejoice, assurance of those who pray in silence. Rejoice, beginning of Christ's miracles. Rejoice, crown of his dogmas. Rejoice, heavenly ladder by which God came down. Rejoice, bridge that conveyest us from earth to heaven. Rejoice, wonder of angels sounded abroad. Rejoice, wound of demons bewailed afar. Rejoice, thou who ineffably gavest birth to the light. Rejoice, thou who didst reveal thy secret to none. Rejoice thou who surpassest the knowledge of the wise. Rejoice thou who givest light to the minds of the faithful. Rejoice thou, bride unwedded. The power of the Most High then overshadowed the virgin for conception and showed her fruitful womb as a sweet meadow to all who wish to reap salvation as they sing Alleluia. Having received God into her womb, the virgin hastened to Elizabeth, whose unborn babe at once recognized her embrace, rejoiced, and with leaps of joy as songs cried to the Theotokos. Rejoice, branch of an unfading sprout. Rejoice, acquisition of immortal fruit. Rejoice, laborer that laborest for the lover of mankind. Rejoice, thou who gavest birth to the planter of our life. Rejoice, corn land yielding a rich crop of mercies. Rejoice, table bearing a wealth of forgiveness. Rejoice, thou who makest to bloom the garden of delight. Rejoice, thou who preparest a haven for souls. Rejoice, acceptable incense of intercession. Rejoice, propitiation of all the world. Rejoice, goodwill of God to mortals. Rejoice, boldness of mortals before God. Rejoice, thou bride unwedded. 
Having within a tempest of doubting thoughts, the chaste Joseph was troubled, for knowing thee to have no husband, he suspected a secret union, O blameless one. But having learned that thy conception was of the Holy Spirit, he said, Alleluia. While the angels were chanting, the shepherds heard of Christ's coming in the flesh, and having run to the shepherd, they beheld him as a blameless lamb that had been pastured in Mary's womb, and singing to her they cried, Rejoice, mother of the lamb and shepherd, rejoice, fold of rational sheep, rejoice, torment of invisible enemies, rejoice, opening of the gates of paradise, rejoice for the things of heaven, rejoice with the earth, rejoice for the things of earth, join chorus with the heavens, rejoice, never silent mouth of the apostles, rejoice, invincible courage of the passion bearers, rejoice, firm support of faith, rejoice, radiant token of grace, rejoice, thou through whom Hades was stripped bare, rejoice, thou through whom we are clothed with glory, rejoice, thou bride unwedded. Having sight of the divinely moving star, the Magi followed its radiance, and holding it as a lamp, by it they sought a powerful king, and having reached the unreachable one, they rejoiced, shouting to him, Alleluia. The sons of the Chaldees saw in the hands of the Virgin him who with his hand made man, and knowing him to be the master, even though he had taken the form of a servant, they hastened to serve him with gifts, and to cry to her who is blessed. Rejoice, mother of the unsetting star, rejoice, dawn of the mystic day, rejoice, thou who didst extinguish the furnace of error, rejoice, thou who didst enlighten the initiates of the Trinity, rejoice, thou who didst banish from power the inhuman tyrant, rejoice, thou who didst show us Christ the Lord, the lover of mankind, rejoice, thou who redeemest from pagan worship, rejoice, thou who dost drag us from the works of mire, rejoice, thou who didst quench the worship of fire, rejoice, thou who rescuest from the flame of the passions, rejoice, guide of the faithful to chastity, rejoice, gladness of all generations, rejoice, thou bride unwedded. Having become God-bearing heralds, the Magi returned to Babylon, having fulfilled thy prophecy, and having preached thee to all as the Christ, they left Herod as a babbler who knew not how to sing Alleluia. By shining in Egypt the light of truth, thou didst dispel the darkness of falsehood, for its idols fell, O Savior, unable to endure thy strength. And those who were delivered from them cried to the Theotokos, Rejoice, uplifting of men, rejoice, downfall of demons, rejoice, thou who didst trample down the dominion of delusion, rejoice, thou who didst unmask the fraud of idols, rejoice, sea that didst drown the pharaoh of the mind, rejoice, rock that dost refresh those thirsting for life, rejoice, pillar of fire that guidest those in darkness, rejoice, shelter of the world, broader than a cloud, rejoice, sustenance, replacing manna, rejoice, minister of holy delight, rejoice, land of promise, rejoice, thou from whom floweth milk and honey, rejoice, thou bride unwedded. When Simeon was about to depart this age of delusion, thou wast brought as a babe to him, but thou wast recognized by him as perfect God also. Wherefore, marveling at thine ineffable wisdom, he cried, Alleluia. 
The Creator showed us a new creation when He appeared to us who come from Him, for He sprang from a seedless womb and kept it incorrupt as it was, that seeing the miracle we might sing to her, crying out, Rejoice, flower of incorruptibility, rejoice, crown of continence. Rejoice, thou from whom shineth the archetype of the resurrection. Rejoice, thou who revealest the life of the angels. Rejoice, tree of shining fruit, whereby the faithful are nourished. Rejoice, tree of goodly shade, by which many are sheltered. Rejoice, thou that hast carried in thy womb the redeemer of captives. Rejoice, thou that gavest birth to the guide of those astray. Rejoice, supplication before the righteous judge. Rejoice, forgiveness of many sins. Rejoice, robe of boldness for the naked. Rejoice, love that vanquishest all desire. Rejoice, thou unwedded. Having beheld a strange nativity, let us estrange ourselves from the world and transport our minds to heaven. For the Most High God appeared on earth as a lowly man, because he wished to draw to the heights them that cry to him, Alleluia. Holy present was the inexpressible word among those here below, yet in no way absent from those on high, for this was a divine condescension and not a change of place, and his birth was from a God-receiving virgin who heard these things. Rejoice, container of the uncontainable God. Rejoice, door of solemn mystery. Rejoice, report, doubtful to unbelievers. Rejoice, undoubted boast of the faithful. Rejoice, all holy chariot of him who sitteth upon the cherubim. Rejoice, O glorious temple of him who is above the seraphim. Rejoice, thou who hast united opposites. Rejoice, thou who hast joined virginity and motherhood. Rejoice, thou through whom transgression has been absolved. Rejoice, thou through whom paradise is opened. Rejoice, key to the kingdom of Christ. Rejoice, hope of eternal good things. Rejoice, thou bride unwedded. All the angels were amazed at the great act of thine incarnation, for they saw the unapproachable God as a man approachable to all, abiding with us and hearing from all. Alleluia! We see most eloquent orators mute as fish before thee, O Theotokos, for they are at a loss to tell how thou remainest a virgin and couldst bear a child. But we, marveling at this mystery, cry out faithfully, Rejoice, receptacle of the wisdom of God. Rejoice, treasury of his providence. Rejoice, thou who showest philosophers to be fools. Rejoice, thou who exposest the learned as irrational. Rejoice, for the clever critics have become foolish. Rejoice, for the writers of myths have faded away. Rejoice, thou who didst rend the webs of the Athenians. Rejoice, thou who didst fill the nets of the fishermen. Rejoice, thou who drawest us from the depths of ignorance. Rejoice, thou who enlightenest many with knowledge. Rejoice, ship for those who wish to be saved. Rejoice, harbor for sailors on the sea of life. Rejoice, thou bride unwedded. Desiring to save the world, he that is the creator of all came to it according to his own promise, and he that is God is the shepherd for our sake appeared unto us as a man, for like calling unto like as God he heareth, Alleluia. A bulwark art thou to virgins, and to all that flee unto thee, O virgin Theotokos, for the maker of heaven and earth prepared thee, O most pure one, dwelt in thy womb, and taught all to cry to thee. Rejoice, pillar of virginity, rejoice, gate of salvation, rejoice, leader of mental formation, rejoice, bestower of divine good, rejoice, for thou didst renew those conceived in shame, rejoice, for thou gavest understanding to those robbed of their minds, rejoice, thou who didst foil the corrupter of minds, rejoice, thou who gavest birth to the sower of purity, rejoice, bride chamber of a seedless marriage, rejoice, thou who dost wed the faithful to the Lord, rejoice, good nourisher of virgins, rejoice, adorner of holy souls as for marriage, rejoice, thou bride unwedded. Every hymn is defeated that trieth to encompass the multitude of thy many compassions. For if we offer to thee, O holy King, songs equal in number to the sand, nothing have we done worthy of that which thou hast given us, who shout to thee, Alleluia. We behold the Holy Virgin, a shining lamp, appearing to those in darkness, for kindling the immaterial light. She guideth all to divine knowledge, she illumineth minds with radiance, and is honored by our shouting these things. Rejoice, ray of the noetic sun. Rejoice, radiance of the unsetting light. Rejoice, lightning that enlightenest our souls. Rejoice, thunder that terrifiest our enemies. Rejoice, for thou didst cause the refulgent light to dawn. Rejoice, for thou didst cause the river of many streams to gush forth. Rejoice, thou who paintest the image of the font. Rejoice, thou who blottest out the stain of sin. Rejoice, labor that washest the conscience clean. Rejoice, cup that drawest up joy. Rejoice, aroma of the sweet fragrance of Christ. Rejoice, life of mystical gladness. Rejoice, thou bride unwedded. When the absolver of mankind desired to blot out ancient debts of his own will, he came to dwell among those who had fallen from his grace, and having torn up the handwriting of their sins, he heareth this from all. Alleluia. While singing to thine offspring, we all praise thee as a living temple of Theotokos, for the Lord who holdeth all things in his hand dwelt in thy womb, and he sanctified and glorified thee, and taught all to cry to thee. Rejoice, tabernacle of God the Word. Rejoice, saint greater than the saints. Rejoice, ark gilded by the Spirit. Rejoice, inexhaustible treasury of life. Rejoice, precious diadem of pious kings. Rejoice, venerable boast of reverent priests. Rejoice, unshakable fortress of the church. Rejoice, inviolable wall of the kingdom. Rejoice, thou through whom victories are obtained. Rejoice, thou through whom foes fall prostrate. Rejoice, healing of my flesh. Rejoice, salvation of my soul. Rejoice, thou bride unwedded. 
O all-praised Mother, who didst bear the word, who is holiest of all the saints, accept now our offering, and deliver us from all misfortune, and rescue from the torment to come those that cry to the Alleluia. O all-praised Mother, who didst bear the word, holiest of all the saints, accept now our offering, and deliver us from all misfortune, and rescue from the torment to come all those that cry to the Alleluia. O all-praised Mother, who didst bear the word, holiest of all the saints, accept now our offering, and deliver us from all misfortune, and rescue from the torment to come those that cry to the Alleluia. An archangel was sent from heaven to say to the Theotokos, Rejoice! And beholding thee, O Lord, taking bodily form, he was amazed, and with his bodiless voice he stood, crying to her such things as these. Rejoice thou through whom joy will shine forth, rejoice thou through whom the curse will cease. Rejoice recall of fallen Adam, rejoice redemption of the tears of Eve. Rejoice height inaccessible to human thought, rejoice depth indiscernible even for the eyes of angels. Rejoice for thou art the king's throne, rejoice for thou bearest him who beareth all. Rejoice star that causest the sun to appear, rejoice womb of the divine incarnation. Rejoice thou through whom creation is renewed, rejoice thou through whom we worship the creator, rejoice thou bride unwedded. To thee, the champion leader, we thy servants dedicate a feast of victory and of thanksgiving as ones rescued out of sufferings, O Theotokos. But as thou art one with might, which is invincible, from all dangers that can be, do thou deliver us, that we may cry to thee, Rejoice, thou bride unwedded. When the golden image was worshipped in the plain of Dura, thy three children despised the godless order. Thrown into the fire, they were bedewed and sang, Blessed art thou, O God of our fathers. O sweetest Jesus, save us. O Christ Jesus, no one on earth hath ever sinned, O my Jesus, as I, the wretched one and prodigal, have sinned. Wherefore I cry to thee, my Jesus, have compassion on me as I sing, Blessed art thou, O God of our fathers. O sweetest Jesus, save us. O Christ Jesus, I cry, nail me down with the fear of thee, O my Jesus, and pilot me to thy calm haven now, O my compassionate Jesus, that as one saved I may sing to thee. Blessed art thou, O God of our fathers, O sweetest Jesus, save us. O Christ Jesus, ten thousand times have I, the passionate one, promised thee repentance, O my Jesus, but wretch that I am, I deceived thee. Wherefore I cry to thee, my Jesus, enlighten my soul which remaineth unfeeling. O Christ, the God of our fathers, blessed art thou. O most holy Theotokos, save us. O thou who gavest birth to Jesus, awesomely and above nature, O all blameless one. Implore him, O maiden, to forgive me all the sins that I have committed against my nature, that as one saved I may cry, Blessed art thou who didst give birth to God in the flesh. O most holy Theotokos, save us, having willed to accomplish our salvation, O Saviour, thou didst dwell in the womb of the Virgin, and didst show her to the world as the Mediatress, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. O most holy Theotokos, save us, the dispenser of mercy whom thou didst bear, O pure Mother, do thou implore to deliver from transgressions and defilements of the soul those who with faith cry out, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. O most holy Theotokos, save us, a treasury of salvation and a fountain of incorruption is she who gave thee birth, a tower of safety and door of repentance hast thou proved her to them that shout, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou, O most holy Theotokos, save us. For weakness of body and sickness of soul, O Theotokos, do thou vouchsafe healing to those who with love draw near to thy protection. O virgin who for us gavest birth to Christ the Saviour, holy angel of the Lord my guardian, pray to God for me. Be merciful to me and entreat God, O angel of the Lord, for I have thee as a defender for the whole of my life, a guide and guardian given me by God for ever. Holy angel of the Lord my guardian, pray to God for me. Leave not my wretched soul which was given thee blameless by God to be slain by robbers along the way, O holy angel, but guide it to the way of repentance. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. My whole soul is disgraced by the evil thoughts and deeds I have brought upon me. But make haste, O my guide, and grant me healing with good thoughts, that I may be inclined always to the right way, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O hypostatic wisdom of the Most High, for the sake of the Theotokos, fill with wisdom and divine strength all that faithfully cry, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. O ye works, praise the Lord God, who descended into the fiery furnace with the Hebrew children, and changed the flame into dew, and supremely exalt him unto all ages. O sweetest Jesus, save us. I implore thee, O my Jesus, as thou didst redeem the harlot from many sins, O my Jesus. Likewise redeem me, O Christ my Jesus, and cleanse my foul soul, O my Jesus. O sweetest Jesus, save us. O Jesus, having yielded to irrational pleasures, I have become irrational, O my Jesus, and wretch that I am, I have truly become like unto the beasts, O my Saviour. Wherefore, O Jesus, deliver me from irrationality. O sweetest Jesus, save us. Having fallen, O Jesus, into the hands of soul-corrupting thieves, I have been stripped now of my divinely woven garment, O my Jesus, and I am lying all bruised with wounds. O my Christ, do thou pour on me oil and wine. O most holy Theotokos, save us. O Theotokos, Mary, who ineffably didst carry the Christ, my Jesus and God, do thou ever implore him to save from perils thy servants and them that praise thee. O virgin who knewest not wedlock. 
O most holy Theotokos, save us. Disdain not those who need thy help, O Virgin, and to him, and supremely exalt thee unto the ages. O most holy Theotokos, save us. Thou healest the infirmity of my soul and the pains of my body, O Virgin, that I may glorify thee, O pure one, unto the ages. O most holy Theotokos, save us. Thou pourest forth a wealth of healing on those who with faith hymn thee, O Virgin, and who supremely exalt thine ineffable offspring. O most holy Theotokos, save us. Thou drivest away the assaults of temptation and the attacks of passions, O Virgin, wherefore do we hymn thee unto all ages? Holy angel of the Lord, my guardian, pray to God for me. O good angel sent by God, support me, thy servant, in my life, and forsake me not unto the ages. Holy angel of the Lord, my guardian, pray to God for me. O most blessed one, I hymn thee, O good angel, guide and guardian of my soul unto the ages. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Be unto me a protection and fortification in the judgment day of all men, in which all deeds, both good and evil, shall be tried by fire both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Be unto me thy servant, a helper, and a calmness, O ever-virgin Theotokos, and leave me not bereft of thy protection. God the Word, who came forth from God, and who by ineffable wisdom came to renew Adam after his grievous fall to corruption through eating, and who ineffably took flesh from the Holy Virgin for our sake, him do we the faithful with one accord magnify with hymns. O sweetest Jesus, save us. I have surpassed, O my Jesus, Manasseh, and the publican, the harlot, and the prodigal, O compassionate Jesus, and the robber, O my Jesus, through all my shameful and unseemly deeds, O Jesus, but do thou forestall me, O my Jesus, and save me. O sweetest Jesus, save us. By my passions, O my Jesus, have I, the wretched one, surpassed all those from Adam who have sinned both before the law and in the law, O Jesus, and after the law and grace, O my Jesus, but by thy judgments save me, O my Jesus. O sweetest Jesus, save us. May I not be parted from thine ineffable glory, my Jesus, nor may the portion on the left fall to me, O sweetest Jesus, but set me on the right hand with thy sheep, and give me rest, O Christ, my Jesus, since thou art compassionate. O most holy Theotokos, save us. O Theotokos, who didst carry Jesus, O only unwedded Virgin Mary, who knewest not wedlock, O pure one, invoke him, thy Son and Creator, to deliver them that hasten to thee from temptations and perils, and the fire that is to come. O most holy Theotokos, save us. Turn not away from the torrent of my tears, O Virgin, who didst give birth to Christ, who doth take away all tears from every face. O most holy Theotokos, save us. Fill my heart with joy, O Virgin, who didst receive the fullness of joy, and didst banish the grief of sin. O most holy Theotokos, save us. Be the haven and protection, and a wall unshaken, a refuge and shelter, and the gladness, O Virgin, of those who flee unto thee. O most holy Theotokos, save us. Illumine with the rays of thy light, O Virgin, those who piously confess thee to be the Theotokos, and do thou banish all darkness of ignorance, O most holy Theotokos, save us. In a place of affliction and infirmity am I brought low, O Virgin, do thou heal me, transforming mine illness into healthfulness. O Lord Jesus Christ, my God, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, O my only Saviour, for thou art merciful and kind-hearted, and make me a member of the choirs of the righteous. Holy Angel of the Lord, my Guardian, pray to God for me. Grant me ever to think and do what is useful, O Angel of the Lord, that I may be blameless and strong in infirmity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As one having boldness toward the heavenly King, do thou with the rest of the bodiless ones entreat him to have mercy on me, the wretched one, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Having great boldness toward him who took flesh of thee, O Virgin, deliver me from fetters, and grant me absolution and salvation through thine intercessions. O Lord and Master Jesus Christ, my God, through thine ineffable love for man, thou wast wrapped in flesh at the end of the ages from the ever-Virgin Mary. I glorify thy saving providence and care for me, thy servant, O Master. I praise thee, for through thee I have learned to know the Father. I bless thee, through whom the Holy Spirit came into the world. I bow to thy most pure mother, who served for the dread mystery of thine incarnation. I praise the angelic choir as the servants and singers of thy majesty. I bless St. John, the forerunner who baptized thee, O Lord. I honor also the prophets who announced thee. I glorify thy holy apostles. I celebrate celebrate the martyrs, I glorify thy priests, I venerate thy saints, and sing to all the righteous. I, thy servant in prayer, offer to thee, O all-compassionate God, this countless and unutterable divine choir. Wherefore I beseech the forgiveness of my sins, which do thou grant me for the sake of all thy saints, but especially for the sake of thy holy compassion, for blessed art thou unto the ages. Amen. Accept from us, thine unworthy servants, O all-powerful for good, immaculate sovereign lady, mother of God, these honorable gifts which can be offered only to thee, who art the one chosen out of all generations, and who hast become higher than all creation, heavenly and earthly. For through thee the Lord of hosts was with us, and through thee we came to know the Son of God, and were granted his holy body and most pure blood. Wherefore thou art blessed by all generations, the favorite of God, more radiant than the cherubim, and more honorable than the seraphim. 
And now, O all hymned most holy Theotokos, cease not to pray for us, thine unworthy servants, to be delivered from every snare of the subtle one, and from all besetting sins, and preserve us unharmed from every poisonous temptation of the devil. But unto the end, by thy prayers, preserve us uncondemned, for saved by thy help and protection, we send up glory, praise, thanksgiving, and worship for all to the one God and Trinity and Creator of all, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy angel of Christ, I fall down and pray to thee, my holy guardian, given me from holy baptism for the protection of my sinful body and soul. By my laziness and bad habits I have angered thy most pure light and have driven thee away from me by all my shameful deeds, lies, slander, envy, condemnation, scorn, disobedience, hatred of brother, grudges, avarice, adultery, anger, meanness, greed, gluttony, drunkenness, loquacity, negative and evil thoughts, proud ways, having self-will and all the desires of the flesh. O my evil will, which even the dumb animals do not follow, how canst thou look at me or approach me? With what eyes, O angel of Christ, wilt thou look at me so badly snared in vile deeds? How can I ask forgiveness for my bitter, evil, and wicked deeds into which I fall every day and night and every hour? But falling down, I pray to thee, O my holy guardian, pity me, thy sinful and unworthy servant. Be my helper and protector against my wicked enemy by thy holy prayers, and make me a partaker of the kingdom of God with all the saints. Always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee, O heavenly King, comforter, spirit of truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us of all impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and God. The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. In a place of green pasture, there hath he made me to dwell. Beside the water of rest hath he nurtured me. He hath converted my soul. He hath led me on the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. For though I should walk in the midst of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they have comforted me. Thou hast prepared a table before me in the presence of them that afflict me. Thou hast anointed my head with oil, and thy cup which filleth me, how excellent it is. And thy mercy shall pursue me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord unto length of days. The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof, the world and all that dwell therein. He hath founded it upon the seas, and upon the rivers hath he prepared it. Who shall ascend into the mountain of the Lord, or who shall stand in his holy place? He that is innocent in hands, and pure in heart, who hath not received his soul in vain, and hath not sworn deceitfully to his neighbor, such a one shall receive a blessing from the Lord, and mercy from God his Saviour. This is the generation of them that seek the Lord, of them that seek the face of the God of Jacob. Lift up your gates, O ye princes, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting gates, and the King of glory shall enter in. Who is this King of glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in war? Lift up your gates, O ye princes, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting gates, and the King of glory shall enter in. Who is this King of glory, the Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory? I believed, wherefore I spake, I was humbled exceedingly. As for me, I said in my ecstasy, Every man is a liar. What shall I render unto the Lord for all that he hath rendered unto me? I will take the cup of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows unto the Lord will I pay in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. O Lord, I am thy servant, I am thy servant, and the son of thine handmaid. Thou hast broken my bonds asunder. I will sacrifice a sacrifice of praise unto thee, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows unto the Lord will I pay in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in the midst of thee, O Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Disregard my transgression, O Lord, who wast born of a virgin, and purify my heart, and make it a temple for thy spotless body and blood. Let me not be rejected from thy presence, O thou who hast great mercy without measure. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
How can I, who am unworthy, dare to come to the communion of thy holy things? For if I should dare to approach thee with those that are worthy, my garment betrayeth me, for it is not a festal robe, and I shall cause the condemnation of my greatly sinful soul. Cleanse, O Lord, the pollution from my soul, and save me, as thou art the lover of mankind. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. Greatly multiplied, O Theotokos, are my sins. Unto thee have I fled, O pure one, imploring salvation. Do thou visit mine enfeebled soul, and pray to thy Son and our God, that he grant me forgiveness for the evil I have done. O thou only blessed one. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin, for I know mine iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that be humbled, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, my tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise, for if thou hadst desired sacrifice, I had given it. With whole burnt offerings thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humbled, God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Sion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shalt thou be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar." Come, O ye people, let us sing a hymn to Christ our God, who divided the sea and guided the people whom he brought out of the bondage of Egypt, for he is glorified. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. May thy holy body be unto me the bread of life eternal, O compassionate Lord, and thy precious blood be also the healing of many forms of illness. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Defiled by unseemly deeds, I, the wretched one, am unworthy, O Christ, of the communion of thy most pure body and divine blood, which do thou vouchsafe me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O blessed bride of God, O good soil that grew the corn untilled and saving to the world, vouchsafe me to be saved by eating it. By establishing me on the rock of faith, thou hast enlarged my mouth over mine enemies, for my spirit rejoiceth when I sing. There is none holy as our God, and none righteous beside thee, O Lord. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Teardrops grant me, O Christ, to cleanse my defiled heart, that purified and with a good conscience I may come with faith and fear, O Master, to the communion of thy divine gifts. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. May thy most pure body and divine blood be unto me for the remission of sins, for communion with the Holy Spirit, and unto life eternal, O lover of mankind, and to the estrangement of passions and sorrows. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O thou most holy table of the bread of life, that for mercy's sake came down from on high, giving new life to the world, vouchsafe even me, the unworthy, to eat it with fear and live. From a virgin didst thou come, not as an ambassador, nor as an angel, but the very Lord himself incarnate, and didst save me the whole man, wherefore I cry to thee, glory to thy power, O Lord. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. O thou who wast incarnate for our sake, O most merciful one, thou didst will to be slain as a sheep for the sin of mankind. Wherefore I entreat thee to blot out my sins also. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Heal the wounds of my soul, O Lord, and sanctify all of me, and vouchsafe, O Master, that I, the wretched one, may partake of thy divine mystical supper. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Propitiate for me also him that came from thy womb, O Lady, and keep me thy servant undefiled and blameless, so that by obtaining the spiritual pearl I may be sanctified. O Lord, giver of light and creator of the ages, guide us in the light of thy commandments, for we know none other God beside thee. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. As thou didst foretell, O Christ, so let it be unto thy wicked servant, and in me abide as thou didst promise. For behold, I eat thy divine body and drink thy blood. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. O word of God and God, may the live coal of thy body be unto the enlightenment of me who am in darkness, and thy blood unto the cleansing of my defiled soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Mary, Mother of God, precious tabernacle of fragrance, through thy prayers make me a chosen vessel, that I may partake of the sacrament of thy Son. 
World about in the abyss of sin, I appeal to the unfathomable abyss of thy compassion. From corruption, raise me up, O God. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. O Savior, sanctify my mind, my soul, my heart, and my body, and vouchsafe me uncondemned, O Master, to approach the fearful mysteries. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Grant that I may be rid of passions, and have the assistance of thy grace, and strengthening of life by the communion of thy holy mysteries, O Christ. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O holy word of God and God, sanctify all of me as I now come to thy divine mysteries, through the prayers of thy holy mother. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Count me not unworthy, O Christ, to receive now the bread which is thy body, and thy divine blood, and to partake, O Master, of thy most pure and dread mysteries, wretched though I be. Let these not be for me unto judgment, but unto life immortal and everlasting. The wise children did not serve the golden image, but went themselves into the flame, and reviled the pagan gods. They cried in the midst of the flame, and the angel bedewed them. Already the prayer of your lips was heard. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. May the communion of thine immortal mysteries, the source of blessings, O Christ, be to me now light and life and dispassion, and for progress and increase in the most divine virtues, O only good one, that I may glorify thee. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me, that I may be delivered from passions and enemies, need and every sorrow, I now draw nigh with trembling love and reverence, O lover of mankind, to thine immortal and divine mysteries. Vouchsafe me to him thee, blessed art thou, O Lord God of our fathers. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O thou who art full of grace, who beyond understanding gavest birth to Christ the Saviour, I thy servant, the impure, now entreat thee, the pure, cleanse me who am now about to approach the most pure mysteries from all defilement of flesh and spirit. God who descended into the fiery furnace unto the Hebrew children, and changed the flame into dew, praise him as Lord, O ye works, and supremely exalt him unto all ages. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Of thy heavenly and dread holy mysteries, O Christ, and of thy divine mystical supper, vouchsafe now even me, the despairing one, to partake, O God, my Savior. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Fleeing for refuge to thy loving kindness, O good one, with fear I cry to thee. Abide in me, O Savior, and I, as thou hast said in thee, for behold, presuming on thy mercy, I eat thy body and drink thy blood. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I tremble at taking fire, lest I be consumed as wax and grass, O fearful mystery, O the loving kindness of God, how is it that I, being but clay, partake of the divine body and blood, and am made incorruptible? The Son of the unoriginate Father, God and Lord, hath appeared unto us incarnate of the Virgin, to enlighten those in darkness, and to gather the dispersed, wherefore the all-hymned Theotokos do we magnify. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Christ it is, O taste and see, the Lord for our sake made like unto us of old, once offered himself as an offering to his Father, and is ever slain, sanctifying them that partake. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. May I be sanctified in soul and body, O Master, may I be enlightened, may I be saved, may I become thy dwelling through the communion of thy holy mysteries, having thee with the Father and the Spirit living in me, O Benefactor, plenteous in mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. May thy body and thy most precious blood, O my Saviour, be unto me as fire and light, consuming the substance of sin, and burning the thorns of passions, and enlightening all of me to worship thy divinity, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. God took flesh of thy pure blood, wherefore all generations do him, thee, O Lady, and throngs of heavenly minds glorify thee, for through thee they have clearly seen him who ruleth all things, endued with human nature. It is truly meet to bless thee, the Theotokos, ever blessed and most blameless, and mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gavest birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us, for at a loss for any defense, this prayer do we sinners offer unto thee as master, have mercy on us. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy on us, for we have hoped in thee. Be not angry with us greatly, neither remember our iniquities, but look upon us now as thou art compassionate, and deliver us from our enemies. For thou art our God, and we thy people. All are the works of thy hands, and we call upon thy name. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The door of compassion open unto us, O blessed Theotokos, for hoping in thee let us not perish. Through thee may we be delivered from adversities, for thou art the salvation of the Christian race. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. If thou desirest, O man, to eat the body of the Master, approach with fear, lest thou be burnt, for it is fire. And when thou drinkest the divine blood unto communion, first be reconciled to them that have grieved thee, then dare to eat the mystical food. Before partaking of the awesome sacrifice of the life-giving body of the Master, after this manner pray with trembling. O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, source of life and immortality, creator of all things visible and invisible, the co-eternal and co-beginningless Son of the beginningless Father, who out of thy great goodness didst in the latter days clothe thyself in flesh, and wast crucified and buried for us ungrateful and evil-disposed ones, and hast renewed with thine own blood our nature corrupted by sin. Do thou thyself, O immortal King, accept the repentance of me, a sinner, and incline thine ear to me, and hearken unto my words. For I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and I am not worthy to look upon the height of thy glory. For I have angered thy goodness by transgressing thy commandments, and not obeying thine injunctions. But thou, O Lord, who art not vengeful, but long-suffering and plenteous in mercy, hast not given me over to be destroyed with my sins, but always thou awaitest my complete conversion. For thou hast said, O lover of mankind, through thy prophet, for I desire not the death of the sinner, but that he should return and live. For thou desirest not, O Master, to destroy the work of thy hands, neither shalt thou be pleased with the destruction of men, but desirest that all be saved and come to a knowledge of the truth. Wherefore, even I, although unworthy of heaven and earth and of this temporal life, having submitted my whole self to sin and made myself a slave of pleasure, and having defaced thine image, yet being thy work and creation, wretched though I be, I despair not of my salvation, and dare to approach thine immeasurable loving-kindness. Accept then even me, O Lord, lover of mankind, as thou didst accept the sinful woman, the thief, the publican, and the prodigal, and take away the heavy burden of my sins. Thou that takest away the sin of the world, and healest the infirmities of mankind, who callest the weary and heavy laden unto thyself, and givest them rest, who camest not to call the righteous but sinners to repentance, and do thou cleanse me from all defilement of flesh and spirit, and teach me to achieve holiness in fear of thee, that with the pure testimony of my conscience, receiving a portion of thy holy things, I may be united unto thy holy body and blood, and have thee living and abiding in me with the Father and thy Holy Spirit. Yea, O Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not the communion of thine immaculate and life-giving mysteries be unto me for judgment, neither unto infirmity of soul and body because of my partaking of them unworthily. But grant me until my last breath to receive without condemnation the portion of thy holy things unto communion with the Holy Spirit, as a provision for life eternal, for an acceptable defense at thy dread judgment seat, so that I also with all thine elect may become a partaker of thine incorruptible blessings which thou hast prepared for them that love thee, O Lord, in whom thou art glorified unto the ages. Amen. O Lord my God, I know that I am not worthy nor sufficient that thou shouldest enter beneath the roof of the temple of my soul, for all is empty and fallen, and thou hast not in me a place worthy to lay thy head. But as from on high thou didst humble thyself for our sake, do thou now also lower thyself to my lowliness, and as thou didst consent to lie in a cave and in a manger of dumb beasts, so consent also to lie in the manger of mine irrational soul, and to enter into my defiled body, and as thou didst not refuse to enter and to dine with sinners in the house of Simon the leper, so deign also to enter into the house of my lowly soul, leprous and sinful. And as thou didst not reject the harlot and sinner like me when she came and touched thee, so be compassionate also with me a sinner as I approach and touch thee. And as thou didst feel no loathing for the defiled and unclean lips of her that kissed thee, do thou also not loathe my defiled lips, nor mine abominable and impure mouth, and my polluted and unclean tongue. But let the fiery coal of thy most holy body and thy precious blood be unto me for sanctification and enlightenment and health for my lowly soul and body, unto the lightening of the burden of my many sins, for preservation from every act of the devil, for the expulsion and prohibition of mine evil and wicked habits, unto the mortification of the passions, unto the keeping of thy commandments, unto the application of thy divine grace, unto the acquiring of thy kingdom. For not with disdain do I approach thee, O Christ God, but as one trusting in thine ineffable goodness, and that I may not by much abstaining from thy communion become the prey of the spiritual wolf. 
Wherefore do I entreat thee, for thou art the only Holy One, O Master, sanctify my soul and body, my mind and heart, my belly and inward parts, and renew me entirely, and implant thy fear in my members, and make thy sanctification inalienable from me, and be unto me a helper and defender, guiding my life in peace, vouchsafing me also to stand at thy right hand with thy saints, through the intercessions and supplications of thy most pure mother, of thine immaterial ministers and immaculate hosts, and of all the saints who from the ages have been pleasing unto thee. Amen. O only pure and sinless Lord, who through the ineffable compassion of thy love for mankind didst take on all of our substance from the pure and virgin blood of her that bare thee supernaturally through the descent of the divine Spirit and the good will of the everlasting Father, O Christ Jesus, wisdom of God and peace and power, thou who through the assumption of our nature didst take upon thyself thy life-giving and saving passion, the cross, the nails, the spear, and death, mortify the soul-corrupting passions of my body. Thou who by thy burial didst lead captive the kingdom of Hades, bury with good thoughts mine evil schemes, and destroy the spirits of evil. Thou who by thy life-bearing resurrection on the third day didst raise up our fallen forefather, raise me up who have slipped down into sin, setting before me the ways of repentance. Thou who by thy most glorious ascension didst deify the flesh that thou hadst taken, and didst honor it with a seat at the right hand of the Father, vouchsafe me through partaking of thy holy mysteries to obtain a place at thy right hand among them that are saved. O thou who by the descent of thy spirit the comforter didst make thy holy disciples worthy vessels, show me also to be a receptacle of his coming. Thou who art to come again to judge the world in righteousness, deign to let me also meet thee on the clouds, my judge and creator with all thy saints, that I may endlessly glorify and praise thee with thine unoriginate Father and thy most holy and good and life-creating spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Master Lord Jesus Christ our God, who alone hast authority to remit the sins of men, do thou as the good one and lover of mankind overlook all mine offenses, whether committed with knowledge or in ignorance, and vouchsafe me to partake without condemnation of thy divine, glorious, immaculate, and life-giving mysteries, not as a burden, nor for punishment, nor for an increase of sins, but unto purification and sanctification, and as a pledge of the life and kingdom to come, as a bulwark and help, and for the destruction of enemies, and for the blotting out of my many transgressions. For thou art a God of mercy and compassion and love for mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory, with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I know, O Lord, that I partake unworthily of thine immaculate body and thy precious blood, and that I am guilty and eat and drink damnation to myself, not discerning the body and blood of thee, my Christ and God. But taking courage from thy compassion, I approach thee who hast said, He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood abideth in me, and I in him. Show compassion, therefore, O Lord, and do not accuse me a sinner, but deal with me according to thy mercy, and let these holy things be for me unto healing and purification and enlightenment and preservation and salvation and unto sanctification of soul and body, unto the driving away of every fantasy and evil practice and activity of the devil working mentally in my members, unto confidence and love toward thee, unto correction of life, unto steadfastness, unto an increase of virtue and perfection, unto fulfillment of the commandments, unto communion with the Holy Spirit, as a provision for life eternal, as an acceptable defense at thy dread tribunal, not unto judgment or condemnation. From sullied lips, from an abominable heart, from a tongue impure, from a soul defiled, accept my supplication, O my Christ, and disdain me not, neither my words, nor my ways, nor my shamelessness. Grant me to say boldly that which I desire, O my Christ, or rather teach me what I ought to do and say. I have sinned more than the sinful woman who, having learned where thou wast lodging, bought myrrh, and came daringly to anoint thy feet, my God, my Master, and my Christ. As thou didst not reject her when she drew near from her heart, neither, O word, be thou filled with loathing for me. But grant me thy feet to clasp and kiss, and with floods of tears, as with most precious myrrh, dare to anoint them. Wash me with my tears, and purify me with them, O word. Remit also my transgressions, and grant me pardon. Thou knowest the multitude of mine evils, thou knowest also my sores, and thou seest my wounds. But also thou knowest my faith, and thou beholdest my good intentions, and thou hearest my sighs. Nothing is hidden from thee, my God, my Creator, my Redeemer, neither a teardrop nor a part of a drop. My deeds not yet done thine eyes have seen, and in thy book even things not yet accomplished are written for thee. See my lowliness, see my toil, how great it is, and all my sins take from me, O God of all, that with a pure heart, a trembling mind, and a contrite soul I may partake of thy spotless and most holy mysteries, by which all that eat and drink in purity of heart are quickened and deified. For thou, O my Master, hast said, Every one that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood abideth in me, and I in him. True is every word of my Master and God, for whosoever partaketh of the divine and deifying grace is no more alone, but with thee, my Christ, the three sunned light that enlightenest the world and that I may not remain alone without thee, the life-giver, my breath, my life, my rejoicing, the salvation of the world. Therefore have I drawn nigh unto thee, as thou seest, with tears and with a contrite soul. 
O ransom of mine offenses, I ask thee to receive me, and that I may partake without condemnation of thy life-giving and perfect mysteries, that thou mayest remain, as thou hast said, with me a thrice wretched one, lest the deceiver, finding me without thy grace, craftily seize me, and having beguiled me, draw me away from thy deifying words. Wherefore I fall down before thee, and fervently cry unto thee, as thou didst receive the prodigal and the sinful woman who drew near, so receive me the prodigal and profligate, O compassionate one. With contrite soul I now come to thee. I know, O Saviour, that none other hath sinned against thee, as have I, nor hath wrought the deeds that I have done. But this again I know, that neither the magnitude of mine offences, nor the multitude of my sins, surpasseth the abundant long-suffering of my God, and his exceeding love for mankind. But with sympathetic mercy thou dost purify and illumine them that fervently repent, and makest them partakers of the light, sharers of thy divinity without stint. And strange to angels and to the minds of men, thou conversest with them oft times as with thy true friends. These things make me bold, these things give me wings, O Christ, and taking courage from the wealth of thy benefactions to us, rejoicing and trembling at once, I partake of fire, I that am grass. And strange wonder, I am bedewed without being consumed, as the bush of old burned without being consumed. Now with thankful mind and grateful heart, with thankfulness in my members, my soul and body, I worship and magnify and glorify thee, my God, for blessed art thou both now and unto the ages. O God, loose remit and pardon me my transgressions, wherein I have sinned against thee, whether by word, deed, or thought, voluntarily or involuntarily, consciously or unconsciously, forgive me all, for thou art good and the lover of mankind. And through the intercessions of thy most pure mother, thy noetic ministers and holy hosts, and all the saints who from the ages have been pleasing unto thee, deign to allow me without condemnation thy holy and immaculate body and precious blood, unto the healing of soul and body, and unto the purification of mine evil thoughts. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I am not sufficient, O Master and Lord, that thou shouldest enter under the roof of my soul. But as thou dost will as the lover of mankind to dwell in me, I dare to approach thee. Thou commandest I shall open the doors which thou alone didst create, that thou mayest enter with thy love for mankind as is thy nature, that thou mayest enter and enlighten my darkened thought. I believe that thou wilt do this, for thou didst not drive away the sinful woman when she came unto thee with tears. Neither didst thou reject the publican who repented, nor didst thou spurn the thief who acknowledged thy kingdom. Nor didst thou leave the repentant persecutor to himself, but all of them that came unto thee in repentance thou didst number among thy friends, O thou who alone art blessed, always now and unto endless ages. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, my God, loose, remit, cleanse, and forgive me thy sinful and unprofitable and unworthy servant, my transgressions and offenses and fallings into sin, which I have committed against thee from my youth until the present day and hour, whether consciously or unconsciously, whether by words or deeds or in thought or imagination, in habit and in all my senses, and through the intercessions of her that seedlessly gave thee birth, the most pure and ever virgin Mary, thy mother, the only hope that maketh not ashamed, and my mediation and salvation, Vouchsafe me without condemnation to partake of thine immaculate, immortal, life-giving, and awesome mysteries, unto the remission of sins and for life eternal, unto sanctification and enlightenment, strength, healing, and health of both soul and body, and unto the consumption and complete destruction of mine evil reasonings and intentions and prejudices and nocturnal fantasies of dark and evil spirits. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory and the honor and the worship with the Father and thy Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I stand before the doors of thy temple, yet I do not put away evil thoughts. But do thou, O Christ God, who didst justify the publican, and didst have mercy on the woman of Canaan, and didst open the doors of paradise to the thief, open unto me the abyss of thy love for mankind, and receive me as I come and touch thee, as thou didst receive the sinful woman and the woman with an issue of blood. For the one received healing easily by touching the hem of thy garment, while the other by clasping thy most pure feet carried away absolution of sins. And I, a wretch, daring to receive thy whole body, let me not be consumed by fire, but receive me as thou didst receive them, and enlighten my spiritual senses, burning up my sinful errors, through the intercessions of her that seedlessly gave thee birth, and of the heavenly hosts. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. I believe, O Lord, and I confess that thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who camest into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. Moreover, I believe that this is truly thy most pure body, and this is truly thine own precious blood. Wherefore, I pray thee, have mercy on me, and forgive me my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, whether in word or deed, in knowledge or in ignorance, and vouchsafe me to partake without condemnation of thy most pure mysteries unto the remission of sins and life everlasting. Amen. Behold, I approach the divine communion, O Creator, let me not be burnt by communicating, for thou art fire consuming the unworthy, but rather purify me of all impurity. 
Of thy mystical supper, O Son of God, receive me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of the mystery to thine enemies, nor will I give thee a kiss, as did Judas. But like the thief do I confess thee, remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. Be awe-stricken, O mortal, beholding the deifying blood, for it is a fire that consumeth the unworthy. The divine body both deifieth and nourisheth me, it deifieth the spirit and wondrously nourisheth the mind. Thou hast sweetened me with thy love, O Christ, and by thy divine zeal hast thou changed me. But do thou consume my sins with immaterial fire, and vouchsafe me to be filled with delight in thee, that leaping for joy, O good one, I may magnify thy two comings. Into the brilliant company of thy saints, how shall I, the unworthy, enter? For if I dare to enter into the bride chamber, my garment betrayeth me. For it is not a wedding garment, and I shall be bound and cast out by the angels. Cleanse, O Lord, my soul of pollution, and save me, as thou art the lover of mankind. O Master, lover of mankind, O Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy things be unto me for judgment through my being unworthy, but unto the purification and sanctification of soul and body, and as a pledge of the life and kingdom to come, for it is good for me to cleave unto God to put my hope of salvation in the Lord. Of thy mystical supper, O Son of God, receive me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of the mystery to thine enemies, nor will I give thee a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief do I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen.